Okay, we're given a rational function. We wanna find the domain of this rational function as well as any discontinuities. Discontinuities could either be vertical asymptotes or holes in our graph, removable discontinuities is what we say. All right, so in getting going on this, I think it's the best way to get going is just factor everything. Factor the numerator, factor the denominator, see what you end up with. Okay, so for the denominator, don't see any common factors. So we're gonna go ahead and start factoring into two binomials. I think X and X to make the X squared. The three is a one and three because it's a prime number. Now I have to make sure that these add together and make a negative two in the middle. So let's go negative three plus one to make that negative two. Um, haven't dealt with the numerator yet, but really we only care about the denominator for our domain question. So I would not wanna plug in anything that um, would make the denominator equal zero as far as x values go. And it's pretty easy to pick out after we have our factors. So if I plugged in a negative one in for this first x, negative one plus one makes zero. So you don't want to plug in negative one. Let's leave that out of our domain. And I wouldn't want to plug in positive three for our second factor because that would make this factor equal zero. Everything's multiplied together. Therefore, the entire function, the denominator would be zero. Now, as far as writing this up in interval notation, this goes negative infinity to negative one. Use open brackets on both sides. Negative one to three, again, open brackets, and then three to infinity. Now, vertical asymptotes tend to go hand in hand with these exact same values, but there is something else we wanna check. That checking comes from factoring the numerator, if at all possible. So this numerator, you may notice, is a difference of squares. So hopefully we're comfortable with saying that can be split apart and factored as x minus one, x plus one. But you'll notice in this that we have a common factor between numerator and denominator. They both have an x plus one. So what we can do is we can put this into what we refer to as lowest terms. Lowest terms just means that we cancel out those common factors between numerator and denominator, that the x plus ones would go away and you get x minus one over x minus three. I hesitate to say these are equal because they're not equal to one another, um, that the domains are different, therefore they're slightly different um, functions and different graphs. However, they are very, very similar as far as their graphs would go. The only difference is this graph on the right hand side has one additional point to the graph on the left hand side. In fact, when we were allowed to cancel out the x plus ones, we refer to that as a removable discontinuity. All right, a removable discontinuity, and this one is going to occur at x equals negative one right, just because uh, negative one plus one made this equal zero. So that same value we calculated over here to leave out of our domain. And by our removable discontinuity, what we mean is a hole in the graph, like one point missing in our graph. We're gonna find that actual point that's missing in just a second. All right, the other thing we wanted to identify on this though is vertical asymptotes. We do have a vertical asymptote on this graph. If you put it in lowest terms, you can look at the denominator of the lowest terms um, fraction over here and say, well, I don't wanna plug in a three here. So we're gonna get a vertical asymptote at X equals three. All right, next up, let's locate where is that removable discontinuity going to be located? So to find that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take X equals negative one, and I'm gonna replace each of the X's in our lowest terms with negative one. So our y value is gonna be given by negative one minus two, sorry, negative one minus one, getting ahead of myself, over negative one minus three. So that's negative two over negative four, which will be positive one half. Therefore, our hole in the graph is gonna be a negative one for an x value, one half for a y value. Let's go look at the graph here. So we have vertical asymptote at three, and this hole in our graph, the removable discontinuity. So this is what it looks like over on our graph. Okay, this is the same exact function been graphed. We have a vertical asymptote going on at three, indicated with a vertical dashed line. Um, and then we have this removable discontinuity at, it was negative one comma one half. 
that's going to be indicated by an open circle on our graph. Everything else is the exact same as our lowest terms here, except for if it was in lowest terms on our graph that it wouldn't have this missing hole, the removable discontinuity. So I hope this helps out in locating vertical asymptotes, the domain, and removable discontinuities. It's really not that bad. Do some factoring and look for common factors. Good luck.